Hey guys, it's Lori McCarthy and we are here today to cook up a beautiful simple meal for you that you're going to be able to make with some Atlantic cod from Canada. So you can substitute out a couple of different fish for this one. Um, we're going to use cod, but you can use uh, haddock, you can use pollock, and you can also use really sole. So it's a you know, general white fish um, soup and we're going to make it for probably a family of four or so. So I've got my pan heated up. I always start with a good glug of olive oil. Um, I use extra virgin just because I really like the flavor of it, but you don't want to cook extra virgin on a high temperature. So I'm going to say like start off with like low to medium. And then this is onions and garlic and celery and carrots. Don't worry about the recipe. We've got it up on seafoodfromcanada.com. So you can uh, always refer back there to it for it. Here we go. Now let's, I'm going to crank that up a little bit and get that going. You'll want to saute that off for five minutes or so. And then we just have chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock. And I'm also going to use some, this is reduced white wine. You don't have to use this. You can easily um, substitute it out for another cup of your, uh, your vegetable broth or your chicken broth, whatever you want to use. Um, yeah, so once that's sauteed up for five minutes or so, we're going to start by putting in some other your vegetables. Now, don't get caught up in what's in the recipe. You can really use anything that you got in the fridge. I mean, anything in terms of vegetables that you like. So if cabbage is there, I'll slice it really thin. We love cabbage here. So, um, and kale, and this is uh, the season now when everything's coming out of the garden. So we have um, some kale and it's all diced nice and fine. It really adds a nice uh, ending to the texture of the soup. And this is fennel. Fennel's strong, so it's not everyone's cup of tea. But um, you could use, you know, like you could omit it. You can substitute whatever, again, whatever vegetables you kind of like. So, and again, I like to season every step of the way. So don't wait till the end to put all your seasoning in. So I'm going to put in a nice sprinkle of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Again, get a. Uh, there we go. And so now the vegetables are sauteed down a little bit. So now let's put our liquid in. So this is a can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. There we go. Now this will need to come up to a boil. So you'll probably take, you know, just a few minutes and get that up to a boil. Not like an absolute rapid boil, but you want to get it up to a good, uh, up to a simmer for sure. Because one of the beautiful things about cooking with fish is that if you want to maintain the light flakiness that especially that um, that comes with cod, just put it in right at the end, okay? So once this comes to a boil, simmers for a little bit, then we're going to put in our cod. Now, I've chopped this up in about one inch pieces. You don't have to chop up your fish. If, you know, handling fish is not your thing, you can take it right out of the package. Um, even you can cook it right from frozen if you're using a really, um, a really thin fish like a sole or a redfish or something like that. So you'll just take it and lay it right on the top frozen and by that time you have your pot actually turned off and you're just a residual heat is going to cook the fish. Zucchini is also something that I wait right until the end with the, uh, I put in with the fish. It's a really delicate vegetable, you don't want to overcook it. Yellow zucchini, green zucchini, it all ends up being the, you're just looking for a nice, light, healthy meal here that's, uh, you know, that'll really appeal to everyone in the family and it's really quick to put together. All right, so you've finished your soup off. The last thing to go in was your fish and your zucchini. Bring it up to a simmer. Don't do the boil on the fish, right? Just bring it up to a nice simmer. And as soon as it comes to that, you'll turn off your heat, cover it, leave it 10 minutes, and uh, yeah, and you're good to go. And so just before you uh, serve it up, you want to give it a taste. You want to see where your seasoning is. Is it, you know, it's all preference, right? So I'm happy with that. So let's get it plated up. And there's a couple of ways um, to get a nice, this is a beautiful fresh soup. Um, there we go. And right at the end, always fresh herbs on top. You could put a little bit of parmesan on it if you like. And a little hit of acid always has a really nice, uh, really nice flavor to it. And then that's it. And if you want to make it a complete meal, it's always nice to serve it up with some fresh bread. 
some fennel sprigs, and there you go. So for the full recipe, you can see it on seafoodfromcanada.com.